One year ago today, a family of feral kittens showed up in my yard. They have come such a long way since then. Let's take a look back at that day and see what we notice. It's 7.10 p.m. I'm in Boo's room. I just walked in and I put some topping on his food. There's two cats. There were two cats by the back door. Look at this. Look. Can you see them? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. They were talking to Splash. Every time there's cats in the yard, they come up to the back door and they talk to Splash. I wonder what he's been telling them. So there's a tortie toward the back. I've never seen that cat before. And the other one is um, the tabby with the white paws, which I saw the other day. The other one was in the greenhouse the other day. So I guess these two are friends. Maybe they're brother and sister. Maybe these are two uh, from the family that I saw at the water bowl like a few weeks ago. There was a family of like five tabby cats uh, at the water bowl, but it was at night and it was night vision. So it could be that some of them are torties. It's 7.15 p.m. This cat just came back. It's looking at the back door. It's looking for Splash. I'm super zoomed in, so I'm sorry if this is out of focus. The tabby cat went under the fence before. These look like young cats. I don't think they're... I was going to say I don't think they're a year old. They might be just around a year old, but they definitely look young. So there's the tabby. It just crawled out from under the fence. Let's go in to the other side of the yard behind the garage. Here's another one, another tabby. This is another one that looks really young. I don't think I've seen this one before. I think that whole family is coming around right now. Here's Boo by the back door. He looks like he's in attack mode. He's not looking too happy. Oh, look at this, look. Hello. There's the cat, and there's Boo. Look at this. That's a young cat. I would say this cat's probably like, I don't know, seven months old. It's like a teenager. It's very curious. Who's like, where are you going? I 
I just put my shoes on because I was going to go outside. Boo's not happy. Hello, baby. Hi, baby. It's a little cat. It's a young cat. Boo, you're okay. You're okay. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello. There's the cat with the white paws. Here's Simba. Well, we got four cats happening right now. Look, I wonder if that's like a mama cat. That cat looks a little bit older. They see Simba. Look at this. Oh my god, look at this now. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this, look. Here's a tuxie. Oh my gosh, look at this cat. They're all freaked out. They all got big tails because Boo and Simba just got in a little fight. Oh my gosh, I told you guys, the whole family. Here's the tortie. They're just looking at me. You're going to come up to the back door? They're all looking at me. Wow, they're brave. These guys are brave. Boo's not happy. You okay? You're okay, guys? Look at this one, coming to look at Boo. You okay, Boo? You okay, Boo? Look at these two under the patio chairs. So it seems that word might have gone out that I put some food out yesterday for that other cat. Maybe the other cat is the mom of these cats. The cat that was here yesterday. That cat might be the mom cat for these cats and she might have told them that I put some food out so I might, uh, I might go get some food. I just put some plates of food together and I came back out and they went under the fence in the back, so. They're in the back corner under the fence. So this is some dry food. And that's what's left over from Boo's dinner. And I'm just gonna leave these here and See if they come back. See the cat poking his head out from under the fence? That's the exact same location that Stella used to be in with the kittens. If you go watch videos from six years ago, like the first videos posted on this channel, that's where they were filmed near that corner of the fence. That's where the kittens used to be. So it seems all the cats really like that area back there. Alright, so I'm going to move away from the door and we'll see what happens. Here's Bowie's laying half under the kitchen table. I shut the window in his room and I shut the window in my bedroom because the cats like looking out of those windows. 
but there's only a screen there and right now I don't really trust Boo because he was looking kind of agitated by the back door. So the food's been outside for a while now and the cats have not come back, which is fine. And the way these cats are acting, they're definitely acting like local ferals. And the fact that I have seen them in the area before, several times, oh look, look at this. The black and white one came back. Is it going to eat? This one's kind of an odd looking cat. I hope it's not sick. Maybe it's waiting for family members. These cats definitely appear to be siblings. It must not be hungry because it's not eating. So I just moved into the kitchen to look out of the kitchen window and the cat was staring at me. And then it followed me back to the door. Well, it kind of, you know, it knew where to look. It didn't physically follow me, it just knew where to look. And uh, it saw me come back to the door. I just want to remind anyone watching this video that if you see a feral cat in your yard or a stray cat in your yard, don't rush up to it. Don't go out to pet it. Give it space and just observe its behavior because it will most likely be scared away and you don't want to do anything that's going to freak it out. If I was going to go outside right now, I would move very slowly. And then I would just sit uh, probably by the back door here. I would I would sit quite a bit away from the cat just to see what the cat's going to do. And actually, maybe I'll do that right now. Okay. Did you see how fast that cat moved? Notice it was like crouched down low and it ran away really fast. Yeah, so that cat is really fearful and these are, this is definitely a, a family of ferals. So there it is on the other side of the fence. That's where Ditto used to like to hang out. So I'm just gonna go inside, leave it alone. So one of the tabbies is by the back now. I think this is the, the little thin one. I hope the camera is focusing. 
I'm using the camera that has focusing problems. Yeah, I think this is the little one that was by the back door. It reminds me so much of when Simba was outside in the yard. Okay, I just switched to the older camera, which should be able to focus better. And I'm gonna move away from the door because maybe it's afraid of me. We'll see if it comes and eats anything. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.